Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I am with the beautiful Mesa <laughs> and we're going to be cooking some Syrian food. What is it called? Mjetka. It's very healthy, it's vegetarian and it's so simple to make. Kids love it and maybe yours too. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah, if they learn it, it would be very fast when they are really tired come back, coming back from um, university. Maybe yeah. You can do something healthy instead of delivering something nasty. <laughs> and I'm excited as well because like I don't know how to cook that well. Like I'm always bending stuff in my kitchen. It's, it's ridiculous. Yes. So thank you so much for coming into my life and teaching me how to cook. And without further ado, let's just jump into what we're doing. Okay, lovely. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Nuubuki. No, that's not it. Nubu aka. That's still not it. Nubuk. So we need from Jetra, this is two cups of, I used this cup. So mm -hmm. it's up to you, obviously, how much do you need, but we are, I'm cooking for um, three adults, two children, um, <laughs> for, it would be enough for two days, to be yeah. honest. Um, two cups of lentil, green lentil, mm -hmm. and um, this is bulgur wheat, Okay. Um, which is, you don't want it very fine, so you, you better get it um, coarse, ah. or extra coarse would be nice. What's the benefit of that as opposed uh, because to... Because if it's very, very fine, it would be like a dough when you cook mm -hmm. it. This is like rice, you want it to be nice and uh, dry at the end. And then yeah. You the olive oil, you need olive oil and we want uh, one onion. Okay. This is for the mjadra. And in Syria, we call this one um, taswil. 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 So, um, yeah, so basically you want, in Syria, when you buy the lentils, it's, this is very clean. But there, ah. you know, it might be really organic where you actually just picked like, it, it mm -hmm, has so mm -hmm. much soil in it or stones, so you need to... Or like insects it. and stuff like that as well. Uh, <laughs> might! Yeah. But yeah, mainly, this is really clean, so yeah. you really don't need more than one. That's how it is with, in, in Ghana with the rice though. The really? rice, you might find like little, I think they're called weevils or something. So you just do this. Yeah, you have to do this like multiple times. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. here, I don't think we need that. Mm. Add it to the pan and add boiled water. You need boiled water about four cups for this or mm -hmm. more, actually five cups because it's in the boil for half an hour now. Okay. While it's boiling, um, maybe it's worth doing, uh, leaving the lid like this because it might go everywhere. Ah, and when okay. it starts to boil, I'm going to put it on a five, like medium heat, but I didn't start yet. And then until then, we're going to make our salad. Okay, okay. <laughs> onion, lemon, tomato, mint, spring onion, and cucumber. Oh, I'm so excited. Is it? <laughs> All this explaining is even making me hungry. I can't wait till I taste this. Just Cut it up into pieces. Um, I'm I'm kind of I'm a person. I learned from my mom how um, to cook since I was little. But when I helped her, obviously I saw how she chucks stuff in a pan, and mm -hmm. at the end it comes mm -hmm. amazingly. So I I'm not afraid for doing like ingredients and weighing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I struggled today. I was thinking. <laughs> always happens with me because I always think I can do it and then it tastes disgusting like I tried oh my gosh like the other day I was trying to make like some low carb brownie something something so yes. it was supposed to have like cacao powder no sugar but yes. you're supposed to do something else so it would be sweet I tasted it was disgusting With the, with the baking, mm -hmm. um, it's different than cooking. With baking, mm. you actually need to um, weigh it or yeah, measure yeah, it. Yeah. And that's why I struggle with baking. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do like cooking because actually, um, when you get this meal or any other yeah. meals, you just literally check stuff together and it's ready and it will taste nice. I love that. I love that. I love that. And even with this, you know what? Tell me, tell me about growing up in Syria. How was that like in the food and the culture? Oh, and how is that different from here? Um, well, it's massively different because we are people who love um, 
cooking. Mm -hmm. Love, it's it's in our blood. It's in our culture. Cooking yeah. together, eating together. It's about gathering the whole family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's like activities here. Yeah. You say like, oh, I'm gonna do activity with my child. It's actually <laughs> every day in Syria. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, baking. The smell of food when you get to your mom's oh. house is amazing. I miss it so much. And um, I wish um, she'd cook for me. <laughs> Um, again one day because it's just you feel like how spoiled you yeah, were what yeah, you know, yeah. like, uh, it's all about yeah and then the 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 ingredients as yeah. well, you know it's just too many um um fresh ingredients mm -hmm. vegetables mm -hmm. um you don't get it all uh, packed um you get it either like what do you do they call it here loose yeah, yeah. Um, from the farm early morning the farmers would come to the city we lived in the city so oh, wow. um, the farmers would come so would you go morning. would it be like because i know that in ghana there's some places that are like m like marketplaces where if you want the best of the best of ingredients you go to the market and you 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 haggle with the with the vendors to negotiate a price and everything is that kind of like how it was yeah so it's <laughs> it's it, well <laughs> there is a bit of yeah the price issue there <laughs> but um, you still have the best of the ingredients yeah, so yeah, i yeah. struggle we're talking about tomatoes now i'm cutting tomatoes um i struggled with the taste here and mm -hmm. then i discovered actually i'm gonna try to grow it myself because it's not so working. do you grow your own plant oh. it's dying i need to clean the i do oh, need to clean them all but it was all around um, masses, yeah, but it was amazing, fantastic. We ate so much of it. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, <laughs> poor plant. Um, I'm so, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I had allotment before I had my girl, oh. and it's it just tastes the, the crops at the end of the year taste amazing. The tomatoes, I always oh. have my own, my uh, tomatoes, uh, and the not this one, obviously, this is out of the season, yeah, but um, it's it just tastes amazing. And, oh. um, and also like there's so i've been thinking about that and lately me and my friends there have been a lot of people that have been getting married so suddenly i'm interested in like wedding tradition tell me about wedding traditions in syria wedding yeah i love weddings yeah so it's um weddings are massive so it's changing now you know yeah. it's kind of we're we're copying um the west exactly so it's like a little a party with friends and, mm -hmm, but it mm -hmm. used to be massive every single person you know it's gonna be invited <laughs> yeah yeah um, and if you don't invite them it's like a disrespect isn't it oh well yeah everybody's gonna speak about you badly and gonna be your mom is gonna be like feeling and be bad so yeah you have to invite the whole family yeah, and yeah. the family's family uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah even if you don't see them ever yeah but um it's it's beautiful it's lovely yeah. it's just about um fun you know you spend long hours with them mm -hmm. hairdresser but at the end <laughs> you have the tradition we have the obviously the oriental dance mm -hmm, mm -hmm, every mm -hmm. single girl probably go up no oh how, to dance. how does it go show me show me some moves <laughs> show me some moves Lisa. show me some moves show me. next time now okay explain time. okay fair fair <laughs> Explain so, yeah, how the dance would go, though. So when when you actually um, hear about belly dancing, yeah. let's say it's oriental Ooh. dance, and that's how it goes. But um, in a in a kind of everybody dances. So so I don't I wouldn't get up and dance by myself. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. take my friend my because sister. they know the dance already. Because it's something we you guys do. We grow up with it. So if I'm if I'm cooking, I would be uh, with my mom, for example. I would be shaking and you know? <laughs> uh, dancing um, if i'm cleaning i would remember that cleaning should be with the music and oh. the dance and, you know with my yeah. sisters so it's kind of uh, nice. i love that I you love see that. i couldn't resist to finish tomatoes to start with i needed some mint to smell because the smell is fantastic <laughs> yeah um, the egg noodles and um, steak it's really nicely makes it Okay, so essentially what you're saying is I'm coming back to eat noodles and steak. Heard it here for that's what we're doing. Steak. Hello cutie. Very big one. A very big camera, it's true. Yeah, so the lentil is boiling. Yeah. Um and then um it's gonna it's all cooked. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like cut it as wedges mm -hmm. and then fry it until it's really brown in oh. olive oil. Put it on the top 
and you can see that later. Oh wow, yay! <laughs> Lovely. So what do we have here? So um, I looked at the lentils. <laughs> they were too much. Yeah. Uh, probably the the new kind I bought. It's um, yeah. So I decided to take one cup, uh, like half cup. So let's say you boil one cup and a half. Not yeah. Two cups. Yeah. And this one could be added to any salad you want at mm -hmm. lunch time. The children can have it with a bit teeny tiny bit of salt like that it's just yummy and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we stop <laughs> <laughs> hello cutie hello hello okay hello baba <laughs> sure so right now are we adding more water so we can add because the water is all gone See. Ah, because it boiled so, the lentils yes we'll add water boiled water about um three cups and then i'm gonna add the bulgur mm -hmm. and obviously um, and so i would boil the bulgur wheat is that what i'm aiming to do so yes but, and then you watch it obviously and stir it so you mm. would see when is um it might need more water sometimes but you don't oh. want it very very squishy mm. you want it just like rice um, this is so interesting. A teeny tiny bit of olive oil. Yeah. Um, and what does this do? It's just that is not a tiny it, bit of olive oil. It's a tiny bit, yeah. <laughs> it just gives it a bit of nice taste. And we're gonna put <laughs> olive oil later. Yeah. Uh, with the with the onion, but mm -hmm. this is just to make it a bit tight. Yeah, yeah. That's very nice, and then we cover it and we leave mm -hmm. it on a medium heat until it's done. And then we just cut. Now we the just onions. cut this one like a teeny tiny, really thin wedges. Um, just like on the top of it. This is um, dried mint. <laughs> you really like mint, don't I you? I do add it to the, <laughs> any salad. And it's just, it's really it's amazing. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Go. I'm gonna put it just to keep it. Good luck. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have pickles for the first time. Um, like not the one in Vegas. Mesa says that the one in Vegas are like sour, but this one is like really nice. So it's salty. It's salty. Is it nice? Crunchy. It will go really well with the Hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. So you want it to be fully brown? Uh, like this? Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. And that's mint. <laughs> wow. Okay, everybody. Live reaction to the food. Okay, first half. This is good. Nice, isn't it? This is very nice. Good. I'd definitely like to like, like um, if I if I made this, I'd definitely like meal prep it so I can have it like throughout the weekend. This is good. Thank it's you. A, it's great as well if you heat it during the at lunch time as well. You can make salad again. Cause this is great. We shall be attempting to cook this on our own. 